for being here. Now, I was thinking here today, what is this election about? And there are a lot of things this election about because Barack Obama is horrible in so many ways. And by the way, I'm going to talk about Barack Obama, but I spent six years in the state legislature with Tammy Baldwin. And believe me, whatever I say about Barack Obama, if possible, goes two times for Tammy Baldwin. Now, there are a variety of reasons why we have to win this election. We have to stop America from going deeper and deeper into debt and destroying the dollar, right? Because there's no question, unless we do something right now, and there's some people think even January is too late, our debt is going to be so great and we are printing so many dollars that the value of the dollar will disappear. And then we will see poverty in this country like we haven't in years and years. This election is also about restoring faith in America. Because the world cannot afford many more months to go by in which our chief executive runs around the globe and tells people that the one country that has done more to bring freedom to this world than any other country in history is an embarrassment. We've got to stop having a chief, chief executive who apologizes for America. As a God-fearing country, we have to stop the moral rot coming from the White House, don't we? Yeah. It is a travesty that our country has elected a man who is for late-term abortion. A man, for the first time in this country, we turn on the television set and we have a man who is in favor of homosexual marriage. And for all these reasons, we have got to get rid of him in November. But when I think of Barack Obama, I think of dependency. A man who wants to make people slaves and dependent upon him for their livelihood. And we see it again and again and again. We see it when Barack Obama says that the private sector is doing fine and apparently has enough jobs. And you know why I think the private sector is doing fine? Because if you work in the private sector, you're producing something and are not dependent on him. Whether you're producing food, or serving food, or, or serving food, or, or manufacturing something, if you are working in the private sector, you are not dependent on Barack Obama. And he wants to make everybody dependent on you. That is why when Barack Obama says we need more jobs in this country, he doesn't want more jobs on our farms. He doesn't want more jobs in our utilities. He doesn't want more jobs in manufacturing or retail. Barack Obama says, I want more jobs. Look, at my parents work for the government. The government is wonderful. Well, it's not wonderful. But uh, Barack Obama says, we need more firemen and policemen and teachers. And why is that? It's because the check is coming from the government. Why does Barack Obama want unemployment insurance sometimes going for two years? because he'd rather have people getting a government check than working. Why is Barack Obama listening, loosening up the food stamp requirement? Because he wants people dependent on the government. And finally, about a month ago, why did Barack Obama remove the work requirement for welfare that even Bill Clinton was in favor of? Because Barack Obama hates dependence, or hates freedom. He hates freedom. He wants people to be dependent. I will tell you, if we don't get rid of this man, this is one minute, I didn't know we had a time frame. Uh, if we do not get rid of this man in November, I'm very serious about this, there will be so many people dependent upon government four years from now, we will never get it back. So when you have coworkers or relatives who might vote for Barack Obama, you have to ask them, what is this man up to that he wants to remove the work requirement for welfare? He is up to making everybody a slave. He does not want them dependent on themselves for a job. He does not want them as part of a family in which the child is dependent on a mother and father. He wants everybody 
dependent on him. And that is the message I think you've got to carry out there because the polls show, and it amazes me when I see the polls, the polls show in this election it's about 50-50. And I, it just amazes me that half of the people who I see when I drive up and down on the freeway apparently or see on the road are going to vote for Barack Obama. So remember, the reason we're voting for Mitt Romney and the reason we're voting for Tommy Thompson is because we're for freedom and we've got to end the dependency. Thank you for being here.